This is the this is the story of the career of the, one of the greatest race car drivers of all time, Richard Petty. Richard Petty's career in Cup started in 1958 in Columbia, South Carolina, driving for his father in his famous 43, which is what he was famous for for his entire career. He won his first race in 1960 at the Charlotte Fairgrounds. He did not win his first of seven Daytona 500s until 1964. And then, he, and that was the year he first won the championship, first of seven. And in that time frame between 1958 and 1971, he had won 140 races. That is incredible, incredible. No one has even come close to that. And now we move on to the next phase of his career, which would be the Winston Cup phase, the winning years. Between 1972 and 1979, he had won three Daytona 500s. He's won 50 races. He, he won, won two Winston Cup championships. And he also won 13 races in a single season in 1975. Something that has only been accomplished one time since, and that was by Jeff Gordon in 1998. And that's why this man is known as the king of stock car auto racing. Once we get to the 80s, he wins 10 more times including one more Daytona 500 and his final win being the Firecracker 400 in July of 1984. From 1985 on, Richard Petty had no wins and very little success actually, as he was getting older and his team was not running at the front of the field much anymore. 1989, he was missing races because he wasn't fast enough. Hence why they added the past champions provisional. And which to this day, I call the Richard Petty provisional, but that is what it is. In 1991, he had flashes where he looked good, 92 also, but he did, but he was not really running at the front. He was running mid-pack, sometimes back of the pack. It was, it, it's not the way to go out. <laughs> if, if it was me, he probably should have gone out in 1984. That's, and stayed in as a car owner. And that's just how I feel about that. And let's just say, his final race, he went out in a blaze. Unfortunately, his car caught, it caught fire from a crash. But that's how it goes in racing. But at least he finished the race. He didn't finish it in the garage area. He finished it on the track. He did, he did a one final lap around the track at pace car speed to salute the fans. Very cool. And I appreciate Richard Petty for doing that. But there's another phase to Richard Petty's career that had nothing to do with driving. It was car owner. In 1993, he he changed his number to 44 so that 43 could no longer be on track, but the, he realized that was a mistake. So in 1994 onwards, he changed it back to 43 SUP Pontiacs. 
1996, Bobby Hamilton got him his first win as a car owner. And John Andretti got a win for them. Actually, a couple wins, I believe, for them. And the next win for that team would not come until Eric Almarola in the Firecracker 400, Coke Zero 400, whatever you want to call it. And that team really didn't have much success for him as a car owner. And I always felt like it's like he he didn't have it as a car owner. And he couldn't get better for some reason. Like he was trying to do things old school. And of course, he's an old school guy. He's going to try to do things old school. And it didn't work. And in 2022... He, well, let's just look at it this way. He had, it was Petty, Petty Enterprises for, for the longest time from, from literally when Lee Petty was driving all the way up to 2005 or six, something like that. And then it was sold to some venture and then they folded and then came back as Richard Petty Motorsports and then Petty Motorsports and then then Legacy Motor Club Ugh. unfortunately I I can't believe he has his name tied to that garbage <laughs> but that's how it is sometimes in racing and I wish he'd not try to be too old school because being old school is fine but old school in today's NASCAR is, is not really good and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs>